Welcome back. Today I want to share with you the different types of chiropractic care. So there's general chiropractic, which primarily does adjustments with the hands and works for a number of conditions, anywhere from back pain, neck pain, headaches, sciatica, and many other conditions. Then there's upper cervical chiropractic, which really specific and gentle adjustments are delivered primarily to C1 in order to allow the nervous system to function optimally between the brain and the body. Another branch of chiropractic is called chiropractic biophysics, or CBP. CBP practitioners work a lot to restore normal curvature in the spine through a variety of different methods, including traction therapies, adjustments, other modalities. And they really have these comprehensive plans where often somebody will need anywhere from 15 to 40 visits to make a significant change in the curvature. Another branch of chiropractic care is the Clear Scoliosis Institute. Clear Scoliosis has taken elements from CBP, from upper cervical chiropractic, and really combined them together in order to get a really specific and concise care plan to restore curvature either from the front to the back or from the side. Now there are many other subsets and subspecialties of chiropractic care and there are so many that I cannot possibly list them all today. However, we just wanted to let you know that there are different types of chiropractic care for different types of conditions. Some chiropractors may even do primarily nutritional therapy and they can test a level in your spine or how an organ system is working and then advise you on what supplement that you might need to restore some part of health that just isn't working correctly for you now. Now the type of chiropractic care that I do is a combination between upper cervical chiropractic, instrument adjusting, clear scoliosis, with a focus on improving the connection between your brain and your body, mostly neurologically, but we find that when we improve the connection between the brain and the body neurologically, that it's benefiting the vasculature. We're seeing the veins are opening, the brain is draining better, the pressure of the vertebral artery going into the brain is normalized. And we're just getting so many profound results from optimizing the curvature in the cervical spine, which also often means making sure it's correct in the thoracic spine and getting people's bones in alignment with very specific and gentle adjusting. When chiropractic was founded, most people had a specific type of problem. You know, it was very common for people to have fallen forward with their posture and to be kind of rounded. So all of the adjustments were delivered from the back of your spine to the front. Now this has worked amazing for the last 100 years until technology changed everything. With the rise of cell phones and computers and more and more people being in this kind of position, our bodies have adapted in order to bring our head more over the center of gravity by hyperextending the thoracic spine. So I would bet that if you asked 100 chiropractors or other doctors, physical therapists even, that do this kind of work, that over the last 10 years, more and more patients are having hyperextension in their thoracic spine with their lower neck forward. And so prior to always being forward like this, which you know initially we were rounded and the body accommodated by bringing the lower, back, the mid back up, prior to that, most people could be adjusted from the back forward and it would give them results. But now what we're seeing is that the upper cervical spine has been stuck or slid forward and then the mid back has been extended and the lower neck is kind of swooped forward too far. So this is a very common presentation that patients have today with our technology-based lifestyles getting us into this position. The program that we designed, that I designed through studying the hardest neck cases in the world and studying branches of chiropractic, including all the ones that we just discussed earlier, was that often the C0 or the skull, C1 and C2, need to be moved from the front to the back. Not always, but often. The thoracic spine is actually already up enough and the ribs are too far forward. So we work on bringing the ribs back down, creating a little bit of a kyphosis in the thoracic spine, getting the lower neck to be up tall 
and then positioning the C0 to C2 in an optimal place so we can hold a really good form where our brain and our body have no inhibition between the nervous system, our vasculature, and our arterial circulation. And we can really be in a position that reduces any chance of getting ligament instability. Because if we're in this prolonged position and our head is forward in relation to our body, we're putting so much force on the ligaments to stabilize our neck. And over time, the process called creep, hysteresis, and set leads us to have instability where we are gonna need even more therapy, which you can get prolotherapy and get that better. But if you're somebody that just knows that you're starting to fall for the forward head position and you get an occasional headache or a lightning zap pain, or you just feel uncomfortable and you're always trying to self-adjust and you get so tired by the end of the day and you never used to, then really consider starting with our simple curve correction program where we can prevent the chances of you getting progressively worsening posture leading to more invasive therapies that sometimes require surgical stabilization. The kind of chiropractic that we practice is a combination of using digital motion x-ray to obtain an accurate diagnosis, a detailed palpation, taking into consideration the changes in the average human from our modern lifestyles of technology where the lower neck often has fallen forward, the upper bones have shifted off where they should be, and the upper thoracic spine is in an extended state. Many people are stuck in this position nowadays. So we're able to, through calculated instrument adjustments, gentle thoracic kyphosis, restore an upright position to the lower neck, and help the upper neck to be up tall, where we find that people absolutely feel great when we get them in this position.